Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today, I don't know if you can see this, but we're still kind of messing around with this hack that we came up with, right? Um, but I got so many, um, well, I got enough questions. I wouldn't say so many, but a few people asked me, well, what would you do with all the negative that's still on the map? Like, it would be really cool if you could do something. I'm gonna pause there for a minute. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because <laughs> I appreciate all the support. But okay, now back to this. I will say before everyone says how wasteful this is, if you did not do the hack and you were doing it the old way, where you would cut uh, the HTV on the HTV setting and you would have weeded everything out, you would not even have this, right? Because all the weeded parts would be in a big pile of a hot mess on your desk. So. I just want to point that out before someone says to me, oh, this is so wasteful. It's not because you wouldn't even have this if you didn't do the hack, okay? So the best idea that I saw, because some people were telling me, what if we did transfer tape, lifted it off the mat? It would have to be really strong transfer tape. Um, there's a couple things wrong. First, let me just say, you can kind of see the bits and pieces, right? The small parts on an intricate design, some of it's gonna pop off. Kind of like, think of it when you do a, an intricate cardstock design. Some of it stays on the actual design, just barely hanging on. Some of it flickers off as you're pulling it up. So while the majority of the design is here, it's not complete. So that's, that's my issue is, I don't even think we can save it, but when there is a chance of saving it, how would we do it? So, like I said, someone recommended the strong transfer tape. The problem with that is the side that's up is the side that actually needs to be touching the shirt or whatever, you know, blank you're using. So, if this piece is already sitting up, what if we put down the shirt like this and we press it from this side. It's not ideal, and it's just to test it out. <laughs> I'm going to try to stick, to get as close to it as possible. I'm, I have, I have this, you know, the heat press mat underneath so that I don't ruin my Cricut self-healing mat. I'm gonna try to stick, I don't know if that will even fit. I think my heat press will fit in between. Um, I'm pretty positive I'm gonna ruin my green mat. But if you buy it in bulk, uh, you know, I'm wasting $1.50. I'm willing to waste, well, I'm wasting actually, yeah, I'm wasting $1.50 because the second half of this sheet is still available. I can still use it as a 12 by 12, so I will do that. So it's not completely wasteful. And also, it's in the, um, the spirit of science, right, of experimenting. Okay, so I have it here. I'm gonna lift this up and we're gonna stick it in and let's hope I don't like start a fire somehow. Okay, so it's down. So normally I would press this for 265 degrees for five seconds, but it's from behind. So I'm gonna see, keeping it a little bit longer. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's protected by the shirt, so I'm thinking the vinyl, will, the HTV will be okay. All right, let's lift this up and see what we have. Move it to the side. Whew, I smell something. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my God, it worked! Oh my goodness okay I mean I don't know how often I'm gonna use this but there is the opposite oh it's got like all look at the scraps I mean it worked holy oh my gosh well here's the mat it's totally ruined right but I'm gonna cut this off and still use this that's still good I mean it's okay <laughs> But, OMG, oh my God. And the 
then just to make sure, I probably would do like a slight, you know, press here. So let me grab my Teflon sheet. So give me a second. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Just to know it worked. <laughs> and it almost looks like the beast. Let me show you what I pressed this for my daughter. This is blue on blue um, on her hoodie, which I think is, you know, she's going to love. Right? So there's the beast. It, I mean, I'm kind of excited. This is cool, right? Okay. I'm going to go. I love testing these things out. Let me know what you think. I love your ideas. I love, like how we evolved and got into this whole like experiment. So I'm all for it. Super excited about it if you can't tell from just like me right now. So anyway, keep up the comments, keep pushing each other, right? And um, until our next experiment, <laughs> talk to you later.